Hey my gators, welcome back to How to DIY and Save a Dime. Today I am doing a mixed haul. Your girl had to, if you know me and how I shop, I will go to multiple stores to get everything that I need because certain stores have certain things and it's cheaper. So I'll just take my one day, I'll have my list and I check it off as I go to each store getting what it is I need. So I went to Menards, but that was just to return some things that I didn't end up using and you'll see that in a video in the future um, For a project that I had to fix and then I went to Dollar Tree then I went to Walmart then I went to Ross and then I went to Aldi's hold on Don't judge me. I had to get my back scratched. It was like an itch on my back that it wasn't going nowhere it needed to be scratched. So I'm gonna grab everything. It's not in no particular order um, so at Walmart I went to Walmart because I wanted to get um, some more Aztec clay for my face because that's what I do. Um, I don't like my hands are kind of dirty, but I don't have any makeup on or anything like that. I just got some lip gloss on. Um, yeah, so you see me. Don't have any makeup on. I needed some Aztec clay and this stuff right here is low. I literally have like I'm talking enough to do. I could probably do my face about five more times, but this lasts me a couple years. And it's like $9.98. It used to be cheaper, and I think they're going up on this stuff, but this is amazing. I live by this stuff for my face. Um, and then all the natural stuff I put on my face. So I had to get that. And we needed some more Oral B spin brush replacement. And um we ran out of uh, taco sauce. Last time we just used hot sauce and I made like a sauce and, and we ate that. Um, oh, my phone is gonna die. Oh, let's try to get through this. And so I've been on a transition of trying to, there used to be a brown rice that I used to love. I used to make chicken and rice in the oven with it years ago. I cannot find it. I don't know where I used to get it from. I tried all these brown rice. I tried different brown rices from um, Walmart. And I know bull in a bag is a little bit simple. I don't really like bull in a bag rice. Y'all know me. I do. I, I know how to cook rice really good. I'm good with rice grits. Some people have trouble with those things like rice grits, oatmeal, stuff like that that you cook, the kind you cook, not the instant. And so I was like, um, I was in Dollar Tree. I'll show you what I got from Dollar Tree. Um, oh, in a second. It's in that bag over here. And I was like, let me try the bull in bag and see if it's going to be tender and if it comes out right. Um, because I want to transition to eating more brown rice because white rice and white pasta bloats the heck out of your girl. And I love to bake, but I'm trying to get away from baking things to have it there like a whole pie because I know I'll be, I'll go in on it because I have a sweet tooth from a sweet tooth girl. I bought these a couple weeks ago. I bought one, a peach one, an apple one, just to taste them because I never tried a banquet pie and it was pretty good and they're $1.18. So I said, when I want to treat myself and I want something sweet, I literally have to put it in the oven. I put mine in the oven. I don't put it in the microwave. Put it in the oven and I let it get really nice and crisp on the top. I put like a little cinnamon and sugar on the top of it and then I let it sit and then I throw some whipped cream on it and that's my treat um, when I want something sweet instead of just having a lot of sweet stuff inside the house. So that's that. And then we ran out, we got one stick left in the refrigerator avocado butter. So I got some more avocado butter and I also got, what else did I get? I think that was it if I'm not mistaken from Walmart, yeah. Okay, then, I needed some um, toothbrushes for when company comes, so I had I got those. I purchased Rizzy some um, some nails. She didn't like them. You probably would have seen them in, in a haul video. She didn't really like them because of the shape, and that was fine. So I took them back to um, Dollar Tree and ended up getting these. And I had a bag of these that's been in my cabinet for forever. And because I'm trying not to eat a lot of junk and, and, and process and sweet stuff and carbs, every time that I got hungry, I started eating these and it took my mind off of it. So I'm watching movies and I'm eating these. And so I was like, let me give me some more seeds. These happen to be a little bit cheaper. These are 125, if you eat seeds, let me know. These were 125 for a 3.75 ounce. The one at Walmart is five point something, but it's $2 and $2.30. 
But if I bought two of these, that's a 20 cent difference. And it would have been a whole two ounces and some change. So it was cheaper to get these from. See, y'all see how I work when I buy stuff? Yeah, I really go that deep because you really save and you think you're not. And you really do. Um, because two of these here equals 7.5 ounces. So that's seven and a half ounces, right? And that would have been $1.50. If I would have got the pack from Walmart, it was only five ounces, but it was already $2.39. You see what I mean? It wasn't a deal. Never had these before, but I know bigs are pretty good and I like the jumbo um, seeds, so I'm gonna try those. So I'll have these to snack on if I want something to snack on versus eating cookies and stuff like that. And if I do, I'll have it as something that I don't have a lot of. I'm not trying to uh, deprive myself of what I like, but I'm trying to try new things and do things differently so I'm not eating too much of the things that are bad. So I also seen this, have you tried this? I like spicy stuff. So my friend gave me some herring um, and you know, I guess that you know their culture eats a lot of fish and stuff and they put it on rice. So I was like, oh, that herring, it's, it's garlic and something herring and I was gonna put it on this rice or either the brown rice, but I think I'm gonna do brown rice because I'm gonna do my um, comfy with the brown rice with the, if you know what comfy is, it's amazing. I'm gonna put that on my brown rice and then put sauteed herring with some onions and maybe mushrooms and put that on top of the brown rice. And I'll probably eat this um, with something else. I don't know, I'll let you guys know how this was, but this was cheaper than it would have been at Walmart. This was $1.25, but this pack at Walmart is like three, four bucks. So if you see these, they also had a sweet chili chipotle, I think it was. I didn't want to try that one. I like spicy jalapeno. So I said, let's try this. So that's all I got from um, Dollar Tree. And uh, then I went to Aldi's. Uh, we needed some things from there. I've been, like I said, wanting and craving some salty stuff. And I don't mind trying stuff at Aldi's because y'all already know if I don't like it, I can always take it back and get the double that guarantee. Okay. All right. So I have um, specialty selected, specially selected feta garlic and herb hummus crisp. Baked snacks made with real chickpeas. Never tried them. I hope they're good. I can literally see myself eating this with cheese or some hummus, like cutting little pieces of cheese or eating this with some hummus. We will see. I will let you know. Never tried them before. So instead of chips, I'm like, Ugh, these are $2.19. Not bad. Um, I don't know if Rizzy would eat them. It's not like, excuse me, she can't. If she wants them, she can. But she's not trying to change her lifestyle. I am, you know, I'm getting wiser and I have to be more uh, cautious of what I'm just eating because I love, I'm a foodie, y'all, y'all. So yeah, I got those. And then we needed some more bread. I'm so upset. I went there, forgot to get some more yeast. I was making some bread and the yeast that I had was bad. And I felt so, I was so upset. It still tastes good, but it was more dense because it didn't rise and bring the air and the gases in it like it needed to. So I got there and forgot to put yeast on my list and to return the bad yeast to all these. Forgot to do that. But anywho, we needed some bread. So I got bread and Rizzy wanted her crackers. She loves cheese and crackers. So I got her some of these and this is one of her favorite cheeses. Well, one of our favorite cheeses. This one is a little bit more expensive, but it is so so I got those two. Um, my phone is trying to die. So let me get some charge on this phone. Hold on one second. And then um, we're doing some tortilla shell pizzas. Well, tortilla, flat tortilla pizzas with some um, ground turkey. And I made um, some my own pizza sauce. So she's gonna shred that. And then I just wanted some um, turkey kobasi for whatever meal I decide to use that for. So that was all at Audi's as far as food and then they had these. I've been looking for some auto covers for my car and this was the last one they had. It was $16.99. Don't know how it's gonna fit, but if it doesn't, they said as long as I got my receipt, I could bring it back. So yeah, I think I got the black when they came in these different colors. And I think I got the one above because that's what it looks like through here with the black trim on it. And that was the only one. So that's what I got from all these and I also got something from Ross and let me charge my phone and I'll be right back. Okay, we got some charge to this phone. All right, so my next stop was um, Ross and are you like me 
where it take you a minute to buy certain things. Like I'm so frugal about stuff that <laughs> literally it takes me a minute to buy my own self stuff. Like I need new sheets. I had these sheets for quite some time. I I'm talking, I wanna say they were gifted to me in The gray ones with the colored and the paisley. I love paisley print. I was looking for something with paisley and like a, a similar to these colors, but I couldn't find anything. Um, I want to say 2018. Yeah, so it's time for them to be recycled, Goodwill, whatever. And then the jersey sheets that I have, the gray ones that I love, they're so warm when it's warm. I mean, when it's cold, I actually can rock with jersey sheets all year round. It don't really bother me because I got fans or, you know, I can control the temperature if it does get a little warm with the jersey sheets. So those I discovered about a couple weeks ago that there was a little hole in them. And I wash my sheets every week, depending on what's going on. Like if I'm doing a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out, um, and not in and out, if I am, um, like doing a lot of in and out sometimes uh i might get those days where i'm tired i'm like you know what it is not i don't feel like taking a shower right now and i might throw something over the bed and i might lay down and take a nap those times when i do it when i'm really tired and i don't want to sleep on the couch i will wash my sheets make sure i wash my sheets every week but usually um i, I shower every day so Two weeks is my max to go without washing my sheets. I think that's all I can do. I just can't. So two weeks. So anywho, I wash them quite often and I'm seeing the wear and tear and I was looking. I'm like, oh, I thought it was a piece of tissue or something on my bed, but it was actually the mattress protector underneath shining through the hole of the gray jersey sheet. So I went in Ross and I found these and I want to say... No, the ones I have now are main stain, and I bought those. Now, those are a little bit older, I mean, a little bit newer. Those I bought when I left New York. I think that was a, a first pair I had bought when I relocated, and those might be about three years old. Um, but yeah, they like, it's over. So I found these, and these are Jersey Knits King Size um, sheet set, and it's a four piece, two, uh, pillowcases are flat and a fitted. Um, I sometimes it's okay. Like I'm gonna show you the other one I got for $24.99. You can't beat that. When I tell you these things are so freaking soft, they are so soft. Like like a t-shirt, literally like a t-shirt. They are so soft. So I got those, and I like to have two. Um, I wanted to minimize it and get down to one. I was like, maybe I can do one, and you know, when I wash it, just take it off, put it back on the bed. But then I have those times where I might want to wash it, but I want to get in the bed and I don't want to wait for it to dry and do all that. It might just be those times or I might have, you know, things can happen, you know. So I said, okay, two can be my, my max slash, you know, my, my number. So I can at least have one to rotate. So I end up getting these and these are like a beigey, creamy, ivory, taupey color jersey knit um fabric and they come with the little bag which i like pretty cool you can take that like it could be a laundry bag when you go out of town for um you know uh vacation you could throw your dirty clothes in it and, and have it separate from your other bag so you get this other little piece which is pretty cool and you also can put your socks in this and wash your socks and tie it like a nice knot in it so your socks won't disappear in the shower the washing machine and you'll have them all in one spot and they can dry in here as well so that's a good tip for using these bags that you get for the sheets so that's one these are getting ready to go in the washing machine do you wash your sheets before you um uh put them on your bed i see some people take them straight out the bag and put them on I'm like do you know people are going like this and doing this and touching the sheets and fit? especially I'm, i like to touch my sheets when i tell you i don't know i, I don't recall this company um i don't know if it's strictly something that comes to like tj max ross or whatever but it's called element house and um it's a six piece so i have four pillowcases and a flat and a fitted and this um, we could not find the price, so the guy gave it to me for 20 bucks. So when I tell you, 
it's super soft like so so soft I don't know which one I'm gonna put on tomorrow I'm waiting for my new frame I got rid of the frame I have currently because it, it, it's old and y'all know I had that for a while and I think I did record a little bit about that and I'm starting to get some squeaking in it and I don't like that so I ordered a new one it'll be here tomorrow and um if y'all want me to tell y'all the story about the Facebook Marketplace person that was supposed to pick it up, anywho, it's in the garage now. Somebody else done responded, and I don't even feel like piling back in my car. I don't let people come to my house unless it's something so big I can't get it in my car. You're not coming to my house, or I'll have my neighbor come over or whatever um, and help me if I need help or something like that. I don't like nobody coming to my house, and I'm glad I did not give that person my address. So, anywho, um let's see these are it says vintage wash I don't know what that means but they're like a light celadon like green gray color very nice very soft so between the two um, and I also got this here uh, which is very oh my gosh it's very sturdy it's uh, 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 my hands are wet because I wash my hands when I put the food up uh sponge holder sponge holder but i don't know if what my new sink these this will suction to the black sink i don't know um yeah i'll probably just keep it and, and and figure it out once that time comes because i like it and i don't think i'm gonna find it again sometimes with things like this you see it and you go back you won't find it um just a nice place to put sponges or whatever the case may be i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see so that was all i got from ross um i like to go get what i need and get out i was looking for a bread knife couldn't find a bread knife just a bread knife i might have to go on amazon because the set that i have didn't come to bread knife and if you know about cutting bread you have to have the perforated um edges to get a nice slice or she will mutilate especially homemade bread so i need a bread knife i've been mutilating my bread um so that's that and i'm getting ready to go throw these into the washing machine let's see how these bad boy wash wash and have them fresh um and ready and then i'm going to tomorrow once i change the sheets i'm going to take the other two sets i have put them in a bag and they're going to goodwill i mean the hole is so little and so somebody that are that's on a budget and tight get some nice fresh sheets they can manage with it i manage with it i mean it's not something that was a must but why not treat myself to some nice fresh sheets i done had them long enough so that's why i'm doing that and i did sh sh tell y'all about this already i don't know why this i forgot to put this in the bathroom i done put the stuff up letting the phone charge and also um put my new tooth thing on do you sterilize your toothbrushes um your spin brushes do you sterilize them a lot of people don't if you get sore throats or get sores in your mouth from um like say you were sick you wasn't feeling well and you brush your teeth with your toothbrush and not thinking of it you know you feeling better then you start getting an itchy throat again you have to sterilize your toothbrushes so what i do is i'll do another video if that's something y'all want to talk me to talk about comment below if you want me to talk about how i use this to keep my skin looking like it's looking comment below and also if you want um a bread video i had started a video but when my yeast wasn't rising i was really heated so i'm probably gonna still use the beginning of that when i make some more bread so if you want a bread video if you want me to talk more about this if you want me to do a video putting my sheets new sheets on the bed and putting everything up and getting my bed back together get my room back together because it looks it's not a mess it's just all my totes that were under it are like all stacked up on the side of the bed so if you want to see all that content, talk to me below. This is how I'm going to talk to y'all because this is how I'm going to get content out to y'all. Now I have a lot of content I need to get out to y'all, but I also um, want to create content that I know you guys want to watch. And uh, yeah, so sneak peek. Um, you guys, I have videos of me putting my new curtains up, laying my new rug down. It's just so much that I did and I shared it with you guys. But um, yeah, it, it's coming along. Really coming along. Um, I still got to get this this mounted and done like it's supposed to. I still got the packaging. This is my new rug. I think I shared a video with this. Didn't share it with y'all yet, but I did a video on my new outdoor rug. And I still want to take this off. Uh, don't judge me. It's coming along. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to me in the comments because I talk back. Tell me what you want to see. If you heard me talk about something, you want me to share more about it or talk more about it. Talk to me in the comments. I will talk back. Later, Gators.